This is another case that is just so heartbreaking and unnecessary. This is Helen Betty Osborne. She was murdered on November 13th, 1971 when she was just 19 years old. She lived her whole life in Manitoba, Canada, and on the evening of her death, Betty had spent time with friends at the Northern Light Cafe and then at the Benson's place before heading back downtown. The Benson's were the people she was boarding with. Around midnight, Betty's friends returned home and very little is known about her whereabouts or actions after this time. What is known is that she was walking home around 2.30 a.m. when she was abducted, raped repeatedly, brutally beaten, stabbed with a screwdriver over 50 times, and killed. Her body would be found the next day by a 14-year-old boy named Kenny Gerba. He discovered her unclothed body, and he and his father reported the discovery to the police. Police first suspected her ex-boyfriend. He was cleared after successfully passing a lie detector test. During the initial days of the investigation, attention was placed on Betty's friends and unfortunately, unacceptable recording and preserving of evidence at the crime scene seriously crippled the investigation. Her case was left unsolved for 16 years until a new officer joined the police force and decided to solve the case on his own volition. Some people came forward saying that four original suspects of her murder had gone around town and told everyone about their involvement. Dwayne Archie Johnston with three other young men, James Robert Hall Huffton, Lee Scott Colgan, and Norman Bernard Manger were eventually implicated in her death. And the only person that was convicted was Dwayne Johnston. And he was only sentenced to 10 years in prison. Through the investigation, it was discovered that Betty had been walking home alone at night when those four boys forced her into their car. They assaulted her in the car before being taken to Huffton's family cabin at Clearwater Lake, where Johnston repeatedly beat her while the rest drank beer as they watched. They transported her again and stabbed her 50 times with a screwdriver. When she was found, her face was so severely damaged that she was beyond recognition. An anonymous letter had been sent to police saying that these four boys were the culprits. This is a gross miscarriage of justice. One of the men had been acquitted, one received immunity for testifying, and one was never even charged. Helen Betty was a Native American woman, and this is a clear instance of the ongoing issue of violence against Native American women. I honestly do not know how any human being can be so sick as to hurt another human, especially in this terrible way. I have no words.